my name is Adolfo Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com In this video I'll be doing a, a review of a module called MobiNuke from Data Quadrant and I want to give a big thanks to Marian Dumitrasso Here is uh, what is what the objective of this, of this module is As far as I understand the objective is to make sure that the website will look uh, reasonably fine, reasonably well in mobile devices. And here's here is what I'm gonna how I'm gonna test this. I have uh, this website, which is uh, a .NET user group in Brazil that I maintain. And uh, again, I just use a very uh, the, the default uh, .NET uh, skin, so nothing very complex. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this module in this website. I'm gonna show how uh, this website is currently looking like in a, in an iPhone, and after using the module, I'm gonna show how it's look like now after the module in the in the iPhone, and see if there were any real improvements uh, to the way the modules look like. And again, I'm not gonna read uh, through documentation anything like that. I'm just gonna install it straight away and see how it goes. So here's how the module, how this website, sorry, not module, website, is looking like in an iPhone right now. This is uh, in uh, portrait mode, and let's have a look at in landscape mode. Not that bad, but I'm, I'm hoping that the Mobinook uh, module will, will improve the way it's, it, it's currently looking like. And just scrolling a little bit here. This is how it's looking like now. And then let's see how it will look like after the module. Okay, so now let's log into the website as host and install the module. So I'm logged into the website as host. I'm going to go to host module definitions to install the module. Now from here, I'm going to go to uh, action menu, install module. Browse for the module. Here's the module, let's click on it, select, click, well, this is translated to Portuguese, but this is supposed to be next, click next again, and again, there's a huge license agreement, scroll down, click accept license, click next, again, this is next in Portuguese because this is translated. So installation went successfully. Let's click return. So let's have a look here if the module is installed. Yes, it is. So MobNuke installed. It's not used yet. Now let's try to figure out how to use it. Now here's what I'm hoping. I'm, I'm, I'm back to the home page of the website. And I'm hoping that I can just uh, add that module to this page and it will convert when I, I use the site via uh, a mobile device, it will convert this page to a mobile friendly uh, web page. So if I click uh, MobiNook and I will insert this to the bottom of the content pane. So let's, let's see how it goes. So the module was added here to the bottom of the, of the content page, content pane. And I'm going to go to the action menu to module settings, mobile settings actually. So under the settings, there are two default settings. One is the page mobile skin. They bring some default mobile skins already. So I'm go just going to keep the ones that are uh, selected by default. And I'm going to keep the default container with no title. And I can have a specific sets. It seems to be that I can have specific sets for this particular page. I'm going to keep default mobile skin, default, again, everything default here. This looks interesting. It seems that each module in the page, I can say that this module will be available in, my, in PC mode, in the mobile mode, and I can say which container will be displaying uh, that particular module. So if the page has three modules, in our case it does have three modules, it will show each module and I can say show it in PC mode, show it mobile mode. So I'm gonna keep everything as default. I haven't changed anything so I'm just gonna click um, update and preview. Let's see how this looks like. 
okay so this is how it looks like it has a preview and I can select iPhone here mm, that looks nice okay okay uh, it shows a preview it's showing well it's showing quite interesting screenshot here I'm gonna close this I'm going to update this is update in Portuguese don't worry about that update you see update here now I'm back to my page again you are seeing this in a regular PC in a regular computer now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show how it's looking like in an iPhone directly in an iPhone so I'm hoping that this will look much better than it it was looking before in an iPhone okay so this is the site in the iPhone this is how it used to look like I'm gonna refresh this hit go okay so so this is how it's looking like uh, yes it's it's quite different as you can see uh, but I was hoping that the font size would be a bit bigger uh, let, let me try to to zoom in yeah uh, the only thing is that it's it's a different style definitely but um, I was hoping that the, the text would be wrapping up and uh, the font would be bigger not sure let, let me just flip this in a landscape mode uh, let me pinch zoom out it's it's looking better and I can see the the login links at the top and the connect as well the, but if I scroll down I can see the other modules I can see the menu down here let me bring this closer so the menu is down there I can I'm, I'm assuming that I can access them quite easily if I zoom in can click in the other pages okay can go back it seems yeah it's showing a different style now again uh, I was hoping that this would be this would have by default a bigger font. Maybe this is because uh, this content might be inside of a table. Not sure, but uh, I would say that in general it does look a little bit more accommodating uh, inside an, inside uh, the iPhone. But I was hoping for I don't know for something slightly different. Again, bigger font. I was hoping for. I was hoping uh, that I could read without without pinching. Uh, but I still have to pinch. So as you can, we could see, we did have some interesting results. Uh, the only, the only thing that I would say is that I was hoping that the fonts would be a little bit bigger. It might be because this is inside a uh, a table. Let's have a look if this is the case. Let's check this under edit mode and see if there's any tables here. No, there is. There are no tables. Um, again. What I was, would be expe expecting was that the, the fonts would, would be bigger, and I would not uh, be required to to pinch in, to 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 really read the text in a in a bigger font. Um, but it did show a different layout, definitely, by looking at it via the iPhone. Thank you very much. That's it for now. Bye.